We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Colorado Rockies and the New York Mets. In now, Rymel Tapia. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Now the one and one pitch. It's taken for strike two. One ball, two strike. Bottom dropped out on him, and that's a strikeout. Chirinos corrals it, but the throw is not in time. Tapia reaches on the strikeout. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. In previous Trevor. duels with DeGrom, he's gone just two for 13. He's also gone down on strikes five times. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. The 2 2. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. So one gone in the inning here with the runner at first. And into bat next, the big time RBI man, Charlie Blackman. The 1 1 home. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. He's right there on a perfect throw by Chirinos. Bases are empty here with two men out. The 1 2 offering looked like a slider that time, but it's 2 and 2. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Coming to the plate now, Brandon Nimmo. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. The one two is taken for ball two. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And up next, the left handed hitting Michael Conforto. Grounded to the right. McMahon fields it cleanly, and there are two away now. Next up from New York, J.D. Davis, looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. and missed for the third out not much of a chance at hitting that one and the inning is over in now for Colorado Nolan Arenado they'll get us started in the top of the second fastball just inside Slow roller down the third baseline. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Stepping up now, Daniel Murphy. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Turned on down the line. Oh, and he has some trouble with it, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up a man who's a human highlight reel defensively, Kevin Pillar. Two and one the count to Pillar. Really starting to pour now, and the forecast is not showing any signs of a break in the weather. You know, one of the big issues is player safety, and right now this field is getting sloppy, wet, mad, and I don't know how much more rain this field can take. Pulled pretty badly there as he reaches to poke this one foul. And a breaking ball freezes him. Strike three called and the side is retired.
Next for the Mets, Dominic Smith. Full count now, three and two. Well, you don't need us to tell you. It's really starting to come down out there. I can't imagine the umpires will let this go too much longer if it doesn't ease up. Well, you could say that again, Matt. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Make sure you don't step in a pool. I think it's time to get the grounds crew out. Swing and a ball yanked down the right field line. Blackman is over to his left as he snags this one for the first out of the inning. At the plate, Robinson Cano, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Outside in a full count, three and two. Keith Alonzo will be next. Now Cano swings and misses on a good two-strike pitch there as he's retired for route number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up steps the power bat of Pete Alonzo. A shot down the first baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Hit hard on the ground to third. Oh, look at Arenado. He is out. New inning set to get underway. And Ryan McMahon digs into bat next. The one two. Looked at for ball number two. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Davis will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Striding in for the Rockies, Tony Walters. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Third inning, no score to this point. A ball and two strikes. Two and two to the Colorado catcher. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Lifted down the line and left. And this will fall, but it's a foul ball. The three two one more time now a change up just off the plate as that misses for ball four so here now is the pitcher Herman Marquez he could be bunting here in order to stay out of the double play no offer on that one two balls and a strike big sweeping breaking ball right there good pitch but if he wants to get him to swing at it he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. 3-1. And he'll get over to... Oh, it kicks off his glove. How did he do that? Only play to the pitcher covering, and the runner moves into second on the play. Striding in, Rymel Tapia, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Into the box now, Robinson Chirinos, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Three and one. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. Throw to first is in time for the first out. So one man gone for the Mets in the third. And up next will be the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. One and two, here it comes. Hit high and deep to right center. Blackman will put this one away, and that's out number two. Now in the box, Jacob DeGrom. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Count to three and one. Brandon Nimmo would be next. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. 
high in the air into shallow left center. Waiting on it is Tapia. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. All set for the start of the fourth, and that'll bring forth the slugging shortstop, Trevor Story. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on to get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Now the payoff pitch home. Down the left field line and deep. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. The next 3 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring up Charlie Blackman. This is on the ground over to first. Throw. Got him. And I'm going to tell you, that is an incredible play. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Line shot to third, and the side is retired. So it's back to the top of the order now and ready to bat next the Wyoming native Brandon Nimmo. Here we go. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Well if you love pitching and defense this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that Dan. I think this continues for a while Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well throwing strikes having good command of their off speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low scoring affairs. That pitch was way down on two and two but give the hitter some credit there. Sometimes with two strikes you're more off to expand the strike zone but he didn't and held off on that one that wasn't even close. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Brandon Nimmo becomes the first out in the bottom of the fourth inning. Rip down the line. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. Throw to Murphy's in time, and there are two gone now. So two are gone in the Mets half of the fourth, and into bed next will be J.D. Davis. Three and one. Time to wake up the offense right here. Three one count all in on something over the heart of the plate. He loses him on ball four. And next will be the Mets cleanup hitter Dominic Smith hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. And that was one of the hardest hit balls they've had all game Matty. It's been a pretty feeble effort by his teammates on the offensive side. Ready to deliver the one and two. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. In the dirt, and now let's see. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And that'll hurt as the runner will move into scoring position now. Out of the stretch, the 3 2 home, pulled toward right center field. On the move is Pilar. It's down for extra bases, and the Mets have their first hit of the game. As he arrives at second without a play, as they jump ahead with a run scoring on now the play. Second baseman, Robinson. Cano. In now, Robinson Cano. He takes it to the opposite field, high and deep to left. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. I'm cold in this booth, so I know those players have to be cold out there. But it doesn't matter to him. He still has enough power to knock it out of the park to the opposite field, no less. Now that is some man strength. So now to the play, Pete Alonzo. Two balls and a strike. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It's clearly not going his way. And He's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now he needs to think about this hitter. The 2-2. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out.
Here's Daniel Murphy now. He'll start off the fifth in this one. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Waiting on it is Nimmo. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. So the base is empty here with one away and that'll bring up a man who's a human highlight reel defensively Kevin Pillar sent in the air out to straightaway center Nimmo in pursuit he gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning the batter number 24 stepping in and ready for another shot Ryan McMahon he flew out in his last at bat the three one. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. So a runner at first with two away, and that brings up the catcher, Tony Walters. 1-1. Swung on and missed for strike number two. Hey, this guy's got an 89-mile-an-hour changeup. There was a time when 89 was a pretty good fastball. No offer at the curve that time, and it's knotted up at two and two. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll bring up the catcher, Robinson Chirinos. The 2 1 home. Strike two swinging. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. Now the one and one pitch. It's a fastball that misses. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2 2. One out, nobody on. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Now with the plate, Jacob DeGrom. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Grounded up the first baseline, and Murphy will just take this one himself, and the inning is over. Josh Fuentes will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. Number eight, Josh Fuentes. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Now batting. The so the batting order turns over now and set to go. Rymel Tapia, he struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to run. And this is bobbled now by Cano. Throw gets him two down. Digging in, Trevor Story. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. No runs, no hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. This could be a huge win for the guy on the mound if he's able to get out of this inning one, two, three, and start fresh next inning with the middle of the order. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. Now batting. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And digging in is the outfielder, Charlie Blackman. Now a move over to first, and he'll dive back in. Story is off of first with two away. He's running. Pitches a cold strike. The throw is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. This is hit the other way out toward left field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning.
Jose Mujica enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. For the Rockies. Number 44. Jose. Bottom of the sixth Mujica. inning now. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Brandon Nimmo. The 1 1 home. That bolted couple strikeouts early in the game but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitters count a bouncer up the middle and they are not going to get him at first he's aboard easily the right fielder, number 30, Michael at the plate now Michael Conforto yanked fouled off to the right He's set. Here's the three and two. Ground ball foul down the left side. Once again, a three two. This one smoked the other way. High and deep to left. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Stepping in now, J.D. Davis. Count remains full. Another full count pitch home. Fly ball out toward left center field. Pilar's there. One out. Next now will be the cleanup hitter, Dominic Smith. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Here now the 2 2. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Giving chase is Tapia. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Ready to take his hacks again. Robinson Cano as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Into the corner and slicing foul. Weak grounder down the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. A full count, three balls and two strikes. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this AB hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Tapia is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Next, it'll be the number four batter for the Rockies, Nolan Arenado. No hits to this point. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. The batter. Daniel Murphy steps in now. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. The 2-2. And he strikes him out here. So that's out number one here in the seventh as he continues to keep him out of the hit column. So striding Kevin. in, Kevin Pillar. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Popped up, Alonzo. In foul ground, two gone. Here's Ryan McMahon now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ryan McMahon. The 1-1. One, one. Misses ball two. Count for two and one. Ball 
lays off the change up and he's ahead in the count now three and one. Tony Walters would be next if they can keep this inning alive. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Walker. A 1 1. It's a slider that can't catch the outside. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. In there for extra bases, and there goes the no hitter. He pulls into second safely, as also on the play, a run comes across to score. Matt Kemp will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Matt Kemp. One run, just one hit. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. This is lined into left field, and he delivers a big base hit. And the run's going to score as they inch back a bit closer. It's now a 5-2 ball game. Up next for Colorado, the left fielder, Rymel. At the plate, Rymel Tapia. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't see. Threw it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Jairo Diaz gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Last half of the seventh here, and up steps the power bat of Pete Alonzo. Set to deliver on two and one. Ball three. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. The three one. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And it's gone as they add still another. I know I get big money for my expert analysis, but this is pretty simple. If you put a fastball up in the zone, over the heart of the plate. This guy's going to turn it around in a heartbeat. This one was no shocker. Into the box now. Robinson Chirinos. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Two and two to the Mets catcher. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Chasing after it is Pilar. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Ready now, Ahmed Rosario. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Maddie, and he was locked up by a good fastball for strike three last time. I'm interested to see if they attack him the same way. Come at him with hard velo late or snap something off in the dirt to see if he'll fish. He's set. Here's the three and two. Hit out towards second. Throw to Murphy's in time, and there are two gone now. Jeff McNeil will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Pinch hitting for the Mets. Number six. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Story brings it in. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Jared Hughes has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Trevor Story steps in now. An error allowed him to reach base in his last appearance. The one two to third Davis brings it in throw on to first in time so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight 
So striding forward now, Charlie Blackman. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. The 1 1 is laid off for ball two. Hughes was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right hander. All even now, two and two. The pitch. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Another one sent foul. The 2 2 one more time. Soft liner to the right side, and that'll make him one for four in this one. Now batting the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. In now, Nolan Arenado. There's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3 2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four, anyways. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Bottom of inning number eight set to go and ready to bat next the Wyoming native Brandon Nimmo. Line drive and that's a base hit into center field. So with that the Mets have a runner aboard to get the inning underway. The right fielder number 30. Michael. So now to the plate, Michael Conforto hit sharply on the ground. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. One there, and the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. J.D. Davis, the next to bat. He's set. Here's the three and two. Hit hard to the right side. But foul. With this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Yeah, you ain't kidding, Matty. Dan, what does this feel like when balls are just flying out of the yard? Hero, it's just one of those days when you're out there as a pitcher going, oh, I wish I was somewhere anywhere else, but now on that bad. bump right now, no this has the makings of being a long there. game. At the plate now, Dominic Smith. One and two to Dominic Smith. Oh, and this hits the bag at second base. Story scoops it up. Step on the bag for one. There's Robbie Cano now, and their runners at the corners now. Second baseman, Robinson. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And that misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. Three and two now. This is hit the other way out toward left field. On the run is Tapia. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Jason Shreve comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Now batting, Daniel Murphy. He went down on strikes last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Hit in the air out to left field. Smith comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Standing in, Kevin Pillar. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far.
to two balls and two strikes now. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And foul, though it had the home run distance. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Lifted down the line in left. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Slapped hard the opposite way. But good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. The batter, number Ready for another chance? Ryan McMahon. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Colorado. Good night. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. And tonight ends at a 6-2 finish. The New York Mets took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Jacob DeGrom is credited with the win. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New